Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. We're looking at another um, GCSE course worksheet for the NEA. Um, this is from the exam board's example response. This is primarily for AQA but it is also I think fairly similar across the board for the design and GCSE Design and Technology. On this sheet we're looking at sheet 5 and this sheet 5 we're calling the environmental impact or investigating the environmental impact. So I've got two examples here we're going to just have a look at and on the mark scheme here if we take a look at the mark scheme um, in this top band it says um, excellent design focus on full understanding of the impact on society including economic and social effects which I'm sure also we could um, class as environmental effects. So environmental, social um, the best sheets of these will be linked where the, the what we've done here is looked at re the environmental impact the best sheets of these getting the, the top mark band here this top 9 to 10 mark band you need to link the um, to the contextual challenge so if, if it here if we look here it says design possibilities identified and thoroughly explored directly linked to a contextual contextual challenge so a sheet that just looks at general environmental impact won't get in that top band so how do we get in the top band what we need to do is look at the environmental impact of the product that we're making so if we look at this sheet first and we can see they've called the sheet investigating the environmental impact um, they've used the six R's recycle reduce refuse reuse repair rethink so they've called this, they've put the six R's here, they've laid it out like this. Um, and, and you can see here, um, I'm just holding this up as I say, if you want to stop the clip here and just have a look at some of these exemplars or examples of what people have written, you can have a look um, and just see what the example would say here. So if, if, if we look at this and take a look at this, it says, uh, for reuse, for example, I can reuse the activity pack for something else. The pack could be made out of cardboard, so you could use the box for storage or something else when the pack is finished. Or the pack could be made of plastic and you could reuse it as something like a backpack for little adventures for your children to go on. So what they've done here is they've looked at reuse of their product. This is for a children's activity pack and they've directly linked this reuse to their product. So that, I think, would be really nice to get that 10 marks to to um, ensure that, and, and this goes for all of this part of AO1, is that you're linking your research to your product. It's not general comment, but it is linked to the product that you're making. If we look at this um, second sheet, this is broadly the same. I say we've, this one is called, if we take a look at that, and I'll also look at this one here. So we look at analyzing the environmental impact of my product, and we've got repair. My product will have four main parts which will be easy to repair using tape or replacing the whole bin. This, this is for the waste bin. Um, this will help reduce unnecessary waste. The mechanism to um, open the lid will be thoroughly, there's a spelling mistake there, tested so it's less likely to break. Um, so that they're also saying, you know, they're going to try and make the thing durable. That's the word they're looking for there. So, you know, durability is an issue in environmental that, that you make a durable product. Um, if we take a look at this, again, we've got this, this um, if I just hold that there and you can take a look at that, and it says, um, by searching environmental research, so I can make my product more sustainable for the environment using some of these key features, may help the sales of the activity pack, which is really good. So they, they've recognised here in this kind of conclusion that if they make a product that is more environmentally sound um, and has less environmental impact, then obviously the, the, that could be a more successful product. So we've got two sheets there. This is for sheet five, which is um, analyzing environmental impact. And just to have a look there as well, we've got the social environmental impact. I don't know if you can read that. I am to make my product, um, they looked at cost. Maybe it wouldn't be stylish. Okay, so the, 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 that, that's more of an overview of the whole product, I think, really. The, oh, the economic factors as well, so social and economic, because that is listed there. So that's quite good. So what they've done here, I'll just kind of work that out. They've, they've done the, 
the six R's, and then just to cover all the bases, they put this box in here for social and economic. So they've said that they're going to try and make it low cost, they're going to try and sell it locally, you know, all of these things that would be really social. Um, I'll push the economic factors necessary for a healthy workforce. So really, they've covered all the bases there. So that's what we're looking at, is to um, look at our environmental impact of our product, link it to the six R's, and if we like there, add some other social and economic factors. And that gets us up into, hopefully, the band 9 and 10. Okay, thank you for watching Mr Ridley's Design and Technology.